So this question is a diagram question. I say that because I call any question that provides visual input a diagram question. So we're given a table and we're given a graph. When we look at the information provided in the table, we see that the column here is minutes after injection and the column here is penicillin concentration in micrograms per milliliter. And then the same for the graph here, we have time, which is also in the same denominations of time that we had in the table, right, in five minute increments. And then we also have for y-axis penicillin concentration in micrograms per milliliter, milliliter. So basically these two forms of data representation provide the same data. So what we have here in the, in, the, in the rest of the information before we read the question, it says when a patient receives a penicillin injection, the kidneys begin removing the penicillin from the body. The table and graph above show the penicillin concentration in a patient's bloodstream at five minute intervals for the 20 minutes immediately following a one-time penicillin injection. Okay, so we got that. So we see that the penicillin goes, to, the amount of, penic of penicillin is being decreased by the kidneys over time after the injection. That's what both the graph tell us and the table tell us. So what's what are we being asked about here? So question number 37 says, according to the table, right, so we're only focused on the table, how many more micrograms of penicillin are present in 10 milliliters of blood drawn from the patient five minutes after the injection than are present in eight milliliters of blood drawn 10 minutes after the injection. So first of all, we have the first scenario, right? So our first scenario is there. So 10 at 10, 10 milliliters at five minutes. So five minutes post-injection takes us here. And we know that at five minutes we have two or 150, start over, we have 152, what are the units? Micrograms, so micro, G, I'll call it, per milliliter. So then we want to know what's going on or how many micrograms we have if there were 10 milliliters of blood drawn. So this is actually a great setup because now if I multiply these two things together, I can cross, I can cross cancel the units. <clears throat> and what I get is 10 times 152, which is 1,520 micrograms. So this question really is about being able to read a table, possibly even a graph, once we get to the next question. Um, but also it's really all about units, right? Paying attention to the units that so many of us just disregard. So here's the number for that. The second scenario is eight milliliters of blood. So eight ml at 10 minutes after injection. So at 10 minutes. So going back to the table at 10 minutes post injection, we're at 118 micro G per ml. So again, doing the same exact setup, well, how many micrograms then would I expect if there were eight milliliters of blood withdrawn? So I'm gonna multiply this, the milliliters cross out. I'm gonna go to my calculator and figure out, well, what is eight times 118? And that gives me 944 micrograms. Okay, so again, the question wanted to know how many more micrograms of penicillin are present at the 10? So, you know, at 10, I'm at 1,520. At 8 milliliters, I'm at 944. So I'm just going to find the difference. So 1520 minus 944 will tell me how much more I had, right? So that, when I go to my calculator, 1520 minus 944 is 576 micrograms. So that should be our answer.